before we get into our next problem, let's just take a quick look at what it means to find a uh, perfect square trinomial. Uh, we can do this by just running through some of the obvious uh, perfect squares. Uh, x plus 1 all squared, which is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 1, is going to equal x squared plus 2x plus 1 x squared, 1x, another x, that's 2x, and then 1 squared. This is a perfect square trinomial. You're going to see if we do this for x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 4, on and on, that we'll end up with a pattern. So let's just do a couple more, and then I'll present you with a sheet here so you can see what the different uh, patterns look like as we go through the numbers. But doing uh, x plus, let's do x plus 5. x plus 5, quantity all squared, is going to be equal to x plus 5 times x plus 5. Foil, first, x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 5 squared, which is 25. That equals x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now, these have all got positive numbers here. What if we turned around and made that a negative? So I'll just highlight that with a, um, a red marker right here. So if this was a negative and this was a negative, what do you think would happen? Well, I'll tell you very quickly that what you'll get here and here are negatives. The only difference is the negatives have an influence here on this term, in the middle term. That's because it's a negative 1x plus a negative 1x. This becomes negative 2x. The 1 stays a positive because it's a square number, and two negatives multiplied together yield a positive. Here with negative 5 instead, negative 5 here, negative 5 there, you'll end up with a negative 5x, another negative 5x. The 25 stays positive because negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. The answer here changes only in one place at the middle term with this sign. So that's going to be part of the pattern for all of the perfect square binomials. You're going to end up with a pattern of that looks like this, and the only difference is when this is positive, the middle term will be positive when this is negative. The only difference is the middle term will be negative. The last term will remain positive in both cases.